Hi friends, this is Sambasyam. Today we are going to see about the projection of solids. Normally, a solid is nothing but a three-dimensional object which has length, breadth and thickness. Solid may be represented by orthographical views, the numbers on which depends on the different types of solid and its orientation with respect to the projection of planes. Normally, it is classified in polyhedron and solids of propulsion. What do you mean polyhedron? Polyhedron is defined as solid bounded by the plane surfaces which is nothing but in faces. They are regular polyhedron, prisms and pyramid. To understand and remember various solids in this subject properly, those are classified and arranged into two major groups, nothing but in group A and group B. The group A is nothing but having the top and base of same shape, but in case of group B, it is not. The solids have base of some shapes and just a point at the top. It is called an apex. For in group A, the exam best example is in cylinder. So in for B, the best example is in cone. So by the prisms, there will be a different type of shapes like triangular, square, pentagon, and hexagonal. The both ends are same. Another one is in cube. A solid having six square faces. In group B, the prisms, the prisms have a triangular, square, pentagon shape at the bottom, but in the top most is a single point, which is nothing but an apex. So based on that, there will be five categories: the tetrahedron, hexahedron, octahedron, decahedron, and the icosahedron. Based on their faces, nothing but a four, six, eight, twelve, and twenty. The other faces they having. So according as the previous is the prisms example and the diagrams are given below, and it is based on classified into two five major categories: the axis. Perpendicular uh, five major axes can be mentioned. Before that, we have to know how to resolve the problems in solids. The these are the following steps which are going to be useful to resolve any problems in the solid projections. Assume solid standing on a plane which is making an inclination. If it is inclined to HP, assume it standing on HP. If it is inclined to VP, assume it standing on VP. If standing on HP, it is Top view will be a true shape of its base or top. If standing on VP, its front view will be the true shape of its base or top. Behind this view, it is the another view will be a rectangle. If solid, a cylinder or one of the prisms. Its another will be a triangle if the solid is cone or one of the pyramids. So you have to draw front view and top view of the solid in a standing position. In step two, considering solid's inclination. The axial position draw its front view and top view. In the last step, considering the remaining inclination, draw its final front view and top view. So based on this, the, there are the six different types of projections. The first one is an axis perpendicular to it, HP. The example problem is given based on that. And the second one is axis perpendicular to VP. So it is represented by an uh, pen, pentagon prisms. Third one is an axis parallel to both HP and VP. The diagram is drawn based on the pentagon prism in both top and uh, front view, and then the axis is inclined to HP and then parallel to. So first we have to draw the axis, the object in the HP, and then we have to tilt it according to the parallel to uh, VP. And the fifth one is axis inclined to VP and parallel to HP. It is a vice versa, and then the axis inclined to both planes, horizontal and vertical planes. So the axis is inclined to both planes. The axis is one plane, and the edge of the base is inclined to another. In this case, the projection is obtained in three stages. In the stage one, assume that the axis is perpendicular to one of the planes, and draw its projections. In stage two, rotate one of the projection till the axis is inclined at the given angle, and project to the view from it. In third stage, the rotate one of the projections obtained in the stage two, satisfy the remaining conditions, and project the other views from it. So, and the axis inclined to both. Principal planes HP and VP are drawn below for your example in by using the solid cube. So in for cone, they have inclined on my example problem has been given. So thank you so much for your patience listening. Thank you.